So it raises the larger question, what's the role of government in some of these issues, security and privacy, et cetera, and these conflicting uh, international or even industrial goals? What we need to preserve is this multi-stakeholder approach. And perhaps governments will join the NGOs in the internet governance as well, but it will still remain a multi-stakeholder platform for internet governance. And I think that's very, very important. So this Wujian conference sounds like exactly the right formula. Bring people together, people who don't agree, let them talk it out instead of keeping them apart, and then bad things happen. You don't know, suddenly you see a, a, a structure created which you don't like. So openness, discussion, stakeholders pointing out what they would like and what they're worried about is exactly the right way to find some kind of a compromise. And is uh, everything. is a foundation force. 互联网是人类进化的重要里程碑。互联网是社会资源的优化配置者。是老虎的翅膀。The uh, internet is God. The West is often wondering what China's internet means to them. Simply put, they are asking how the internet in China applies to people and companies. To provide some clarity, we have done our best to respectfully ask for answers. with this. We have adopted the policy of reform and opening up for nearly for 40 years. Chinese citizen and uh, Chinese culture and uh, US culture is totally different. And as you see now, uh, people in China, Chinese people have great expectations of the Chinese government uh, for a better life. I don't see there's any reason for the government to close its door. Uh, so I can tell you that the door of reform and opening up will never close. Um, so long as those companies, they abide by the Chinese laws and the regulations, they will not do harm to, the, to China's national interest or the interest of the Chinese consumers. They are always welcome to China. We have actually also made the decision to be uh, in a joint venture structure and will become a, a state-owned enterprise according to the Chinese classification. So we, we really hand in hand with the Chinese government and establishment focusing on creating a Nokia presence in China that will not just work for China but will be a R&D power, powerhouse for technologies that will be used globally. The other countries have the same, have the same thinking. Like uh, if there is a Chinese company uh, wishes to do business or to operate in the United States, it has to, it must abide by the American law. We accept that. Why can't they accept our law?
for example, we can call the U.S. system based on law regulations. You can see everything. You can find out the cases in records. But in China, we have some more virtual value uh, description. Like we will follow the, uh, uh, some ethic uh, idea, and uh, uh, we lead our uh, uh, actions uh, from from the single principle. In the discussion, we may not always agree, but we share the same dream, the same uh, wish that people all across the world can have a better life through internet.